and a half there, but I never finished. I know. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian. I'm back on to help host this call. Y'all there? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's a little quiet right now. So I just talked to a uh, cool. Talk to a brother that's in California on the road right now, or I'm sorry, in Vegas uh, area right now on the road. He's from California. He drove out there. Um, he's going to be on in a little bit to give us a boots on the ground uh, update of uh, what he's dealt with thus far. Um, based on what he just told me, DHS is planning on sending up to 100 uh, DS, uh, sorry, uh, DHS agents out there in the near future. And um, he had actually mentioned a handful of MRAPs as well. Um, earlier today, what, about 20, 30 minutes ago, we had somebody that chimed in and mentioned that uh, they were confiscating guns from people that were heading in that way. Um, if you've got anybody headed out there or caravanning preferably, um, I would recommend just for now to uh, come not in, civil, uh, not in militia attire and try to look like civilians, protesters uh, that are coming in peacefully and uh, under recommendation probably have at least, you know, one vehicle staying outside of the boundary for now and uh, hanging on hanging on to the uh, appropriate munitions. Yeah, we can hear you. Hi, this is Michael from Boynton Beach, Florida. How are you guys today? All good, Mike. How are you doing? we got about uh, 17 people on this car right now. Yeah, well, uh, I just saw a piece of information coming from Trace Gallagher uh, from Fox stating that Mr. Bundy has armed guard security detail with him now Good. that he fears for his life. Excellent. Yeah, that would be some of our brothers out there. We've got uh, yeah. Brian Boynton, which is actually uh, the liaison for the militias to the uh, rancher himself. Um, and he was actually uh, dealing with his wife uh, earlier uh, yesterday. Um, but, yeah, it's most likely his crew. I, I can't confirm who it is right now, but most likely he's involved in that. Um, we'll be try I'm going to be trying to call him in about 45 minutes uh, at 9 Central okay. and uh, see if I can get him on the line. Um, again, one of my buddies, uh, Mike, who's, who's a big patriot, he's uh, administrator for the uh, Citizens Action Network. Uh, he's actually there right now, so he's going to be chiming in in a little bit. I just called him directly. He's heading to the store for supplies. He's got to try. Okay. What was that, man? As long as Mr. Bundy's covered, that's what uh, yeah. the main thing. Mr. Bundy's yeah. covered, and everybody knows that they got to provide for their own, you know, bring your own shelter and means to take your garbage out and everything, you know, respect everything. And and yeah, pretty much the recommendation. Yeah, you know, yeah, common de rules of common decency, that's it, you know. Yeah, they pretty much recommended to people to go out there like they're camping, bring extra supplies for anybody else that may or may not need them if you can handle it. And uh, if possible, try to take up uh, a pot, uh, you know, so you can bring out some loot out there. And uh, if anybody else needs assistance, especially the, the ranchers, uh, direct uh, staff. Go ahead. I'm sorry to be interrupting you there, sir. Go ahead. No, no, I was just saying, if anybody wants to uh, hit me up on my 
I sort of run a slight news aggregator page on Facebook. Anti-mainstream is the name of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you added me in there last night, sir. How are you? It's Brian. Hey, how you doing? I, I'm, oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to be on mute, uh, checking things out, and if anything, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, please keep us posted. And, uh, you know, with the networks that all you people here have, we've got 20 people plus on the call right now. You know, with what network you do have, you know, uh, a simple copy paste uh, and share of the uh, this call and the information. You know, they're going to want to know more. We're going to get some people, like I said, that are boots on the ground that are going to be uh, on the line here in a little bit. So, uh, you know, feel free to take advantage of that, and uh, hopefully, we can do some good and uh, you know, continue to be a communication hub like we were for uh, 130 some odd people last night. Um, I, actually, the word. I actually Definitely. have. Definitely, I'm proud of each and every single one of you guys, man. Every each and every single one of you guys, because uh, we all know what's at stake here, and you know, we're we're doing the good. We're you know we're fighting the good fight, and making sure people are protected and people's rights are protected as human beings. And uh, I just want to commend every single one of you. We appreciate that, brother, and it means a lot. You know, we're trying to do what we can to get as many people as we can on the same page. Uh, you know, what what I'm kind of worried about is, you know, you've got your. Uh, you know, I, I hate to call anybody a hothead, but you've got some people that are a little trigger happy right now, and we, we need to kind of calm them down and, uh, you know, Indeed. create avenues Indeed. of communication so nobody goes ballistics at home in a different state or, you know, we don't have groups going out there uh, all hot, hard, and charging heavy, and that's not even their territory to do so. I'll, I'll let you know that if, uh, exactly. you know, and, and exactly. no offense to my no offense to my brothers in Missouri. I know them all really well, so I can't say this, but they know how to respect if they were to come assist a group in Illinois, for example, that they're not going to come in hot and heavy. They're going to find the command for that state and, uh, you know, act as a unit uh, in, in retrospect to assist that unit in that state because that's their territory. So, you know, we can send anybody we want, but they better re be reporting to uh, you know, the local uh, militias and the uh, the people that are doing the mediating for the rancher um, and Indeed. just not going there act, acting like asshats and, and making this problem any, any worse that uh, it potentially is going to be uh, based on the information that we've got right now. I'm going to put out a, a name real quick. Uh, Mike, uh, my buddy Mike from California, are you on the line right now? I'm going on mute, sir. That's all right. I appreciate you. All right, Mike's not on yet, but he promised he would be in the near future. I just texted him all the data. Anybody else uh, have any data that they can give right now? If they've got eyes or boots on the ground right now, we've got a lot of people that chimed in yesterday that promised to come back today. We had a couple of aviators that were going to scout the area for us. Uh, I'd like to hear from them if anybody's uh, on the line from that group. The uh, Gadsden uh, Aeronauts, was it? Air aviators? I've got some information to push out. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Caleb Hill. Uh, I'm the owner of uh, Three Percenters page, uh, just facebook.com slash Three Percenters. Um, a woman has contacted um, us. Her name is Tanya Hunt. Uh, she said that she's about an hour and a half away from the ranch, and anybody who needs a place to crash or showers or anything, her home and, and yard and land is open. Um, oh, so, what a sweetheart. Yeah, I've got her number, too, if anybody wants to write this down. Yeah, go ahead. Write it down. All right. Uh, again, her name is Tanya Hunt, T-O-N-Y-A, Hunt, H-U-N-T. Her number is 702-303-7897. Again, that number is 702-303-7897. You got it. Appreciate that, Caleb. This is Brian. Bro. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you. No problem. Thanks hey, Brian, it's uh, Chris. I just want to let you know I'm on the line. Hey, uh, who was that? Brian, it's Chris. I'm on the line. Uh, is that Walt? Yes. Oh, thanks for chiming in, man. I got uh, a couple of uh, nice, good people chiming I in right now. On, I just pushed it out on the page, too, so you'll probably have a whole lot more people calling in. Yeah, yeah this I is... Oh, yeah, this is uh, Harley, Harley Dobbery from North Carolina. I just want to report in to you guys. Hey, what's, what's up, up North Carolina? Thanks for coming in, bro. Um, yes, sir. You know, we had about I, uh, 130 on this call yesterday, man. Let's uh, hope we can get it past that today, see how many Patriots are going to stand up and 
you know, try to chime in and, uh, you know, get, get some prayers to our brothers that are out west right now. Um, oh, yeah. And, uh, we had about 20, 20 groups chime in, at least uh, verbally, uh, yesterday from all over the country, and everybody's raised their DEF CON level to one, one uh, just to keep everything up. Yeah, definitely, man. And, uh, all right, sorry to interrupt. I had to mute the conversation. We're getting a lot of feedback. Um, I've got four people muted out from feedback and uh, excessive background noise right now. If y'all could do me a favor, I, I, we're trying to make this, you know, as polite and courteous as possible. Um, if, if you could, just go ahead and press a pound and then six. That will actually mute your phone. I see a bunch of you guys got that going on already, so I appreciate that. Um, but I'm going to need, uh, you know, it sounds like somebody's got a radio on in the background. Uh, you know, if you're going to about to eat a bag of chips or you're going to yell at the kids, if you could just go ahead and do that for me. And then if you need to say something, uh, go ahead, press pound six again, and you'll be able to chime back in. And just if you guys could do that for us, uh, just some common courtesy, I appreciate it. Um, sorry to interrupt the uh, introductions here. Um, just to kind of start from scratch again, I'm going to ask, if possible, let's go alphabetically. If you're in Arizona, Arkansas, <laughs> uh, from that point down, go ahead and, uh, you know, chime in. Let us know you're here. Let's kind of maybe work through the alphabet of states or something if you got that, that ability. And uh, I'm seeing we've got about 50-some-odd people on the call, so I'd like to see, you know, we're just trying to kind of get a roll call, uh, especially, you know, some leaders. I, I understand some of you guys want to remain silent. Totally cool with that. This is an open call. Uh, I'll just say we did some ha uh, have some signs of alphabet soup or listen to this conversation. So do me a favor. I'm not a hothead. I don't feel like, you know, being pulled into any trouble. So, uh, you know, if you're going to get into some hothead attitudes, you're, in the wrong, you're on the wrong phone call, man. We're trying to coordinate and work people and get uh, up-to-date information from boots on the ground. So, uh, you know, if you're going to go out there and, and, and talk about guns being hot and anybody needs to be uh, taken care of, so to speak, uh, please do not do that on this call. And just for your information, I, I do have caller ID uh, capability on this control panel. Um, if you start spitting out threats like that, dude, I'm going to report your ass personally. So let's keep it cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of mute. And uh, here we go. If anybody's from Arizona, Arkansas, like I said, we're trying to go state uh, alphabetically. We're just going to go ahead and do like a roll call real quick. Um, I know people will be talking over each other. Just uh, chime in when you can, man. We're doing the best we can. Who did? New Mexico. New Mexico. So it goes something like this. We're going with AIDS, fellas. Florida. 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 Right. Mix still. A. A. Letter A. First it starts with the letter A. Speak. <laughs> All right, friends. That's probably not working. I, I guess you guys all forgot the alphabet on I me. Mean, go ahead, everybody. Uh, just there you go. There's one. But, you know, just chime in, just anybody then. Go ahead. Where are you from, man? Say your name and where are you from? California, Arkansas, Arkansas, Arizona. Arizona. Orlando, Florida. Arizona. Arkansas. Arizona. San Antonio, okay, Texas. All right, man. All right, well. We heard a lot from uh, Texas yesterday, so uh, I'm going to ask. I heard about three or four Arizonas back there. I'm going to uh, kind of get let the uh, Arizona. Guys... Yeah, what's up? Um, gonna... Hey, what's up, Texas? Uh, I was going to say, guys from Arizona, if you could kind of come to the front of the line and speak up, uh, you're, you know, you're, you're closest that we got. We don't have a lot of people in Nevada chiming in right now. So I'm going to say if you are from Nevada or even Arizona right now and you guys got boots on the ground, which you probably do, if you could uh, speak up and give us any updates or what you guys may have heard, everything is going to be taken as unconfirmed at the moment until uh, you know we can get some actual boots at the site right now. So anybody from Arizona, if you want to speak up, you got some updates? I'm saying I'm going right. to take it. So that's a big negatory. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Let's move I, on. I, I am not in, I am not in Arizona, but I have direct connections in Nevada. Hey, Jerry. Welcome, buddy. Hey, Jerry. Hey. It's Chris. Cran. Uh, this is Jerry Brookhart. I'm uh, the co-founder of ONA. I have a uh, direct link in uh, at the Bundy Ranch. Hey, right, Mr. Brooks, are you chimed in yesterday? What what's uh, ONA stand for, if you don't mind? Uh, 
Actually, I wasn't in here yesterday. That would have been Ryan. I, I uh, wasn't see, here I yesterday. Saw the, I saw the last name Brookhart yesterday, but uh, that's fine. What uh, What does ONA stand for, sir? Uh, Operation Mutual Aid. Oh, you're right, right. OMA. Yes, you guys uh, did chime in yesterday. That's uh, good to hear. Can you uh, yeah. explain a little bit more about what uh, what is it that you guys are trying to offer this situation? Well, we we formed uh, a group, started for me about two years ago. Um, basically, we were a group of states militiamen that believed the time came to start standing between tyranny and the people. And uh, when we saw Mr. Bundy's situation, we contacted him and, and made him aware that we are at his service if he needs us. And he said, I need you. So we, of course, notified our personnel and uh, started laying things in place to help him. Um, the real reason I called in this evening is our biggest challenge right now is misinformation. And I heard you mention something about that, right? Yes. Okay, I, I am just starting to put a system in place to deal with the misinformation. Everybody make sure you have a pen. I'm going to give you a name in a couple minutes. Ooh. Pretty what much what we're done, trying to achieve right here, sir. Oh, okay. Um, we, we have a fellow right on the ranch that has a Facebook account. And... He, of course, is verifying things as they are able to verify them and posting them on his page. Okay. Okay. I right. have a direct link from my page to his. I post what he posts. All right. right. So, in essence, in essence, we have two pages that have verified in information. If you don't mind spitting that out for us, sir. I'm sorry? If you don't mind, spit that out for us so we can write it down and get on there. Okay. Um, his name is Paul, P-A-U-L. Yeah. No, wait, just a second. I lost my, I lost my page. I want to make sure I get this right. Right, sorry to interrupt you, sir. While you're getting on the right page, I got uh, three or four people that are causing me a lot of feedback here. We're hearing background noise. People are yelling at kids. Uh, sounds like somebody's in bed with their phone. So if you don't mind, go ahead and press star six. It'll mute out your phone so that uh, you're not interrupting this call. Um, you know, I'm not one for uh, taking away your uh, right to free speech, but uh, at this point, I'll have to manually mute you out from here. And the only way to get back in is if. Uh, you unmute yourself. So sorry to interrupt you, sir. I'm going to unmute this call again. Yeah, uh, there you go. I hear a bunch of star sixes being done right now. So if you didn't hear that, press star six to mute yourself out. If you want to speak up, then press star six again. It'll let you talk. When you're done, feel free to back out. Again, we're getting all kinds of feedback. All right, I see a lot of people just did that. Thank you. I'm going to unmute the call. Uh, sir, if you could go ahead and give us uh, the rest of Paul's information so we can go ahead and... Uh, get a hold and see what he's doing live. Uh, i got a couple people expected to call here in the near future. Uh, by the way, we're at uh, 87 uh, people plus are in this uh, room right now. Okay. okay. His, his last name... Hello? 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 Hi. Hello? Yes. Hi. 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 Okay, his first name is Paul, P-A-U-L. We got that. His, la his last name is Niblock, N-I-B-L-O-C-K. N-I-D, as in dog? Yes. To the phonetic alphabet, please. N-I-D-L-O-C-K. When you get to his page, he has a pair of sunglasses on. Just so you verify you're on the right one. Hello? Yeah, well, there's people here, man. We're having a conference call. Welcome to it. Uh, if you could go ahead and everybody, I'm going to announce again, press star six on your phone. 
to mute yourself out. Somebody's watching Mexican TV right now. It's kind of rude that we can't hear each other. If you okay. can either, A, turn down that radio, uh, cut down on what excess background information, and if you want to chime in later, it's totally cool. This is an open call. You can press star six again. I'm going to go ahead and mute out a couple more people. Okay. Um, don't take this personally. If you want to chime back in, just press star six. Uh, but as of now, you'll hear it. It'll say muted, and then that means we can't hear you, which is good. All right. Sir, we've got Paul's first name. Can you give us Paul's last name again? Yes. N. I. B L O C K. Can I interrupt for one second, real quick, please? Go ahead, brother. That's what it's all about. I don't hear a lot of background noise as long as you're spitting out truth and uh, right. trying to fix the problem. Go say what you got to say. That's Niblock, November, India, Bravo, Lima, Oscar, Charlie, Kilo. Yes, Thank you. repeat that for me. I'm not military. Repeat that for me. November, India, Bravo, Lima, Oscar, Charlie, Kilo. Yes, I, that sounds right. I, I'm, I'm not seeing uh, that profile picture on Facebook at this time. It, you advise he does have sunglasses. I'm sorry, can you spell that last name again? What? Sir, what, that is what was your... India, Bravo, Lima, no, Oscar, Charlie, Lima. Conference call. My name is Jay. Yeah. You through? Okay. Man, some people just don't get it. I apologize if you just got muted, uh, muted, but you're causing some serious feedback on this call. You know, if you can't get to somewhere quiet, please mute yourself. That'd be star six. Star six again to unmute yourself. Jesus. All right. I, uh, I don't, let me confirm it first. Uh, I'll let you know. it's, it's about five hours ago. Um, the R is using a war, a war bird at the Bundy Ranch. War, war uh, bird at the at the Bundy Ranch. Uh, uh, is that a question for me? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah. I'm listening. Oh, I've been on Facebook. Oh, right they, they said they're using a uh, a war bird at the Bundy Ranch. Uh yes, there is a, there is an Apache. Uh, uh, God. I, I, forgive me, I'm not military. I, I want to say attack, but that's not the right word. Gunship, I guess, is what Ryan called it. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly, an Apache attack helicopter. You are correct. Okay. Page 64. If anybody's having trouble finding the Facebook page, it's just the link at facebook.com slash paul period nibloc and that would be the right page all right well uh i, I don't see much from this guy it's going to take him a minute it looks like he expected to go out of internet i'm seeing his last post was yesterday this is all i'm seeing and he said he won't have internet for a while and he says i'm going to talk to you when i get back so uh you know let's move on to anybody that has boots on the ground right now that's uh you know active and able and uh you know, if you're in direct communication with them, we need to get them on this call. Uh, for those of you that are on the call, awesome. Thank you. You guys are true patriots. I know there's a couple of uh, Alphabet Soup most likely chiming in here somewhere just to make sure we're doing everything on the up and up. So, uh, again, you know, keep what you're saying on the level here. We're just trying to solve some problems. We're not trying to cause any, man. Um, yeah. if, uh, if, you got, if you got boots on the ground, find them. If uh, you can get them on this call, that'd be great. Uh, feel free to keep sharing this call. It's Friday night. A lot of people are off work. A lot of people want to go out drinking. So if you're drinking, why don't you shut your mouth if you're on my call because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Other than that, we're trying to move forward. We're trying to get people on the same page. We want people to know, you know, if there's chaos, you need it from boots on the ground. You can't trust the media right now, and we're just trying to kind of get everybody coordinated enough to uh, so that the ones who want to know aren't posting up too much disinformation. Uh, a lot of people are getting nervous. 
right. Well, you just Florida got yourself in here. Sir. Uh, uh, Orlando, Florida uh, gone, and but uh, a scuttlebutt was that they killed cell service out there. You got a confirmation on that? Can you say that again? They killed what? Cell phone service out there. That was a scuttlebutt. Oh. Can you confirm that? Uh, yes, I can there. actually. That, that, that went that out temporarily, but it's back on. It, yeah, it, it, that it, that's basically false. Uh, again, it was out and it went back on. There are actually been fairness on our water lines in the area. Yeah, basically what I heard is they had to reset the towers and it was just a little while and they came back on. It wasn't for everybody, but obviously some of the people that lost service for a minute there uh, panicked a little bit. And uh, so it's somewhat truthful. It did, you know, something happened, but it, there, everybody seems to have self-service as of now. I just talked to somebody that was 10 miles away, so. Oh, Roger that. Um, the more scuttlebutt I heard was that they got uh, some corporation or something's got uh, ex special forces for hire mercenaries. Is this? I mean, what the hell was that? Uh, what what I can somewhat confirm, brother, is the fact that there are agents out there. They are under the term uh, Bureau of Land Management. Uh, that's what their uh, moniker is on the vehicles. Um, uh, apparently, what seems to be happening is these guys are hired, but. Hey, man, you're going to get yourself muted if you don't press star six, Zach Nabbit. I'm muting out five people right now just for that. Sorry. Deal with it. Press star six to mute yourself out. We've got excessive background noise. We're trying to get stuff achieved, and you are holding us back. So be polite. Press star six, and then press star six again if you want to talk. Yeah, that's you too, sir. There you go. Um, again, uh, where I, the, the, the question was... Can you, I just lost my train of thought, man. I'm sorry, what was I answering a second ago uh, about the silly? The no. Merck, the sorry. Merck yeah. Merck uh, yeah, I apologize. Yeah, this was actually also on the call yesterday, um, but it's, it, we don't mind repeating it for those just chiming in. But uh, it, it just seems as though, yeah, some of these guys are hired. We can't confirm what groups that they have been with, but, like, literally they put the call out. They got a bunch of guys that know how to use guns in there. They know how to stand down, so... It, uh, until further notice, but, uh, you know, they have had some of these uh, protesters were, you know, also agitating, you know, the uh, the dogs and the people and okay, ranting. We're on the call now. Hey, go ahead and let's start seeing yourself off, guys. Mike, brother, Mike, uh, Mercs for Hire and uh, regular militia out there, friendlies, uh, I'm worried that these guys are going to mix in with the friendlies and that uh, shit's going to get real ugly real quick. There is potential for that, man. Most of us could agree. Um, like I said, based on now, the, the objective is, at least from, from what I can gather, is they want to get in touch with the local sheriffs who are the constitutional authority on land, on 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 you know in this premises so to speak and uh so far we have a sheriff that has wimped out uh we've got a couple of people that have gotten a hold of uh sheriff richard mack who uh is formerly from new mexico who had actually had a confrontation you just got yourself needed buddy um you know some people that have dealt with uh this type of situation before uh the county sheriff's program of america i believe it might be what it's called cispa um the Supposedly, Sheriff Richard Max there to get their sheriff on board. In the past, in his experience, he actually took a case to the Supreme Court, and they ruled in the sheriff's favor. They are the constitutional authority on the land. Therefore, they can kick out the Fed if they're not doing what they're supposed to do. The problem that we have now is this isn't necessarily the Fed, although the Fed has made a presence. It's Bureau uh, Bureau of Land Management that has taken upon themselves to, uh, you know, exert their authority. And uh, at this point. You know, how do we decide if they are a federal entity or if they are contractors? Um, basically, the last report we had, the reason why they're doing this is, you know, supposedly uh, he's not paying his fines for his cattle to, to graze on his own land. Um, that's why this buck has started. But the inside scoop, apparently, is the fact that the call has been made up from up on high from uh, some people that are in, you know, certain aspects of the military. I cannot verify that. but. Uh, the reason why they're trying to do this is it really more turns into a big lash into eminent domain. When, when This is when they're exerting their authority to say, hey, we want your land, period. We'll make up any excuse we have to, and we're going to take your stuff by force. Now, this is happening in the regions uh, around here. There's at least three other cases that came up just last night when we had our six-hour phone call. 
Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, we're actually planning, hopefully, the, the, from what I see of this, is if there's more media attention and more peaceful people show up and with the intentions for peace, but, of course, they want to defend and uh, they work with the local militias in their favor because they are the one calling their shots on their own land. Uh, being a seven-year militia member myself, uh, if, if another state were to come to my territory and tell us how they're going to run it, guns are blazing, they've got another fucking thing coming, excuse my French. Um, so if, if you guys are going to go down there and, and, and intend on starting up trouble, you best be in direct communication with the command staff that has been structured out there already. And uh, might I remind you, this came up earlier today. I cannot quite confirm this, but uh, it raises some suspicions, um, the fact that uh, somebody had mentioned that they are confiscating guns from people that are heading there once they hit the borders, apparently. I'm not sure about that. Uh, I would just suspect if you know people heading out there, contact them. If they're caravanning out, your best bet is to put munitions in one vehicle and come as protesters in the other vehicles um, until further notice and you've gotten in contact and you can verify that they're not taking any weapons away. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. Uh, bring extra supplies, uh, uh, you know, plan to camp out if you have to, and, uh, you know, come, come with your heart in your hand, man, and uh, go to direct command, and, uh, you know, don't start anything, pretty much is where we're at right now. Brother, I have one more question. I'm going to put myself back on mute and just listen for the rest of the evening. Does anybody have a, a copy of the, the state uh, carry laws for Nevada by any chance? It's an open carry state. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, all I know is it is an open carry state, so obviously there's probably some uh, restrictions as far as calibers and such, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm assuming ARs, some shotguns, you know, within reason, and then, uh, you know, handguns will be prevalent on scene uh, as long as you're, you know, uh, as legal as possible, so to speak. Um, you know, I don't see why they would have a problem, but in that case, if you're open carrying and the word is that they may be taking guns already, uh, I would kind of watch how you display your, your holster and uh, maybe put some things separated, you know, or even together in the trunk since it's an open carry state. But if they're seeing a lot of weapons, supposedly that's happening. So uh, although that's a huge Second Amendment violation, when there's a gun in your face taking your gun, you know, it, it turns into a hot situation. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting, you know, we need to be cool as possible and not pretty much stir up the pot. And we need to do what the ranchers want us yeah, to do. Right, so we need well, I was more concerned with a lot of state res, uh, uh, a non-resident Nevada, uh, somebody coming in from outside Nevada with with a firearm. If that was, if there was any kind of secondary bylaw that states that that's not allowed without a special permit or anything like that. Uh, I tell you how to uh, find uh, out. Download download Legal Heat. It's an application for your uh, iPhone. It's oh, right legal, on. Okay. Legal Heat. And it will give you all the information you need. You can uh, uh, go to the NRA website. This is Mike School calling in. All right, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, Mike, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mike. In the battle about that cattle rancher. Yeah, this is Mike, Brian, I hear you. We got military in there. Hold up, here's the military. All right, there's a reason for that. Um, I've got a friend who's on the call right now uh, who is actually boots on the ground. He just chimed in. Uh, I'm going to need everybody to go ahead and press star six on their phone. We've got 156 people on this call right now. I need you to press star six on your phone. Uh, we've got a boots on the ground call that just chimed in, and I'm going to let him speak. This person I know personally, so I do trust him. Again, we can only go based on a person's uh, you know, their perceptions of what's going on. If you wanted to hear that all 156 of you, I need you to press star pound, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> star six on your phone right now and go ahead and mute yourself out because I need to hear what this man has to say. If I have to start booting people that are not being courteous or we're getting feedback on your phone, I'm going to cut you out. So don't take it personally. That was on you. I'm not one to take your freedom of speech away, so don't force my hand to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and ask one more flipping time Press star and then six on your phone, and I'm going to let my brother speak. Um, have you heard about this, what's going on at the Bundy Ranch in Nevada? About Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm out here at the Bundy Ranch. This is Mike's school. Uh, not much going on right at the minute. Uh, DHS kind of slowed down for the day. How many Go ahead, Mike. Reach your hand. Wait, I, I, I'm on the road, so sorry, sorry if it's a little slow. But what? Repeat that. How many militia people are there right now, Mike? You got one here. Did you lose him? We are all militia. True, true statement. Maybe uh, uh, this is Central Alaska Militia. Maybe people that are reporting from the site in the future can give their reports in sit rep format. Sit rep format. I'm on the road. Yeah, just if your boots on the ground, you're on the road, and you're heading there or anywhere close. No, I was there. I've been there all day with the Oath Keepers and everybody else, but I had to run a guy into town so we could get some Topo Max uh, created and put up for us. I'll be back on site in about an hour and a half. Sounds like. to the handgun. Um, cops stopped a couple people on the road today, and uh, we're searching the vehicles for the weapons on out-of-state plates. Sorry, I'm breaking up so much. I'm in the hills. But right now, all is well. Um, I'll be back out there in about an hour or two if you want to try me again then. <clears throat> Can I ask you a question? We, uh, later on, meet your phone. Hello? On me, damn it. I can't take no calls. All right, real quick, one quick question. We have heard mixed reports of shots being fired. Is there any confirm confirmation or denial on that? This is Benjamin Smith just coming in. Have we lost the main administrator for this phone line? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I believe we did. Administrator. Hi, is everybody off here? Hello. Oh, I think the main admin dropped off the call, guys. I don't know what's going on now. Hey, guys. Um, this is... How many people do we have left? Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, San Antonio, I'm here. Texas here. All right. I think we've got some technical difficulties. He went offline. I'm here. Can anyone confirm or deny shots? Back. Did he the orchestrating all people? Hey, it was there. Me from Phoenix. From Missouri. Maryland, Michigan. Michigan. From uh, Houston, oh, Texas. Florida. Florida. Maryland. Florida. Bedford, Texas. Georgia. New York. Georgia. 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 Alaska. Alaska. San Antonio, Texas. Georgia. Alaska. Illinois. Minnesota. Bedford, Texas. Pennsylvania. Alaska. Hey, hey, everybody, do we have boots on the ground on the line right now? Okay. I'm Michelle in Phoenix. Okay. Real in Georgia. So what's happening yeah. as per this Phoenix perspective? What's happening for all of us in the north and south and east and west? I know nothing about what militia or any other government agency is doing other than I know 
that some uh, local politicians here, local representatives, are gathering together along with a couple of sheriffs and supposed to be heading up to Bunker Hill to support Las Vegas' reps. Okay. Um, can I can I ask if it's our Pio or not? I don't know if our Pio is supposed to be attending. Okay. Well, thanks for that info. All right. I can uh, all right. I, I can Hey, this is Lickerberg, Arizona. We got activity up here. What's happening? What kind? Um, we have Colorado law enforcement in fatigues with no identification patches on them other than their badges attached to their pant fatigue. And in the last week, I've seen eight of them here. I don't, know if they're, I don't know if they're training in this area. I'm a local predator hunter, so I'm out in the desert all the time. Right. And uh, I saw these guys uh, two days ago. They were getting coffee at Starbucks, and I noticed that their fatigues looked unusual. It didn't look like uh, Maricopa County sheriffs. And I Sounds got like looking. Sounds contractors. Well, I don't know. These guys were law enforcement because when they went back to their vehicle, yeah. they, got in, they got in a Durango, and it had Colorado government tag on it. And they headed west on Highway US 60 going towards, like if you're going towards Blythe, California. Yeah, we saw something like that today here in Oklahoma. A whole bunch of vans heading that way. From, uh, Do you hear what's going on in Nevada? Yeah, it's, uh, there's some more coming out on it on TV. Okay, everybody else, what else you've got going on where you are? trying to put together full three percenters to go over there. Hi, hi. Is it true that there are meetings to scout? It's amazing how much activity is going on that people don't have a clue about. Well, are they are they on like a media blackout right now? Because I mean, you can't really find any information about what's been going on the last several hours. Actually, Fox News just reported a whole bunch of information on that. They actually was showing video and everything else on Fox. Can you all hear me? I have a piece of news. Hello? All right, here we go. We're here, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, my name is Paul. I'm from California, but I just got a message on Facebook. It says, Arizona Legislature. What the fuck? Why does it keep going dead? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Here's the piece of news. It says the Arizona legislature is sending an official delegation to the Sunday Ranch at 11 a.m. The Arizona legislature passed a resolution of support to the Bundy family and against the heavy-handed tactics of the U.S. government, especially the Bureau of Land Management in the seizure of grazing land used by the Bundys since the late 1800s in Clark County, Nevada. The resolution is signed by members of the Arizona House of Representatives standing against any and all violations of state sovereignty and violations of the U.S. Constitution by the federal government. The resolution is being hand-carried this weekend and delivered to members of the Nevada House Legislature in support of the right to protect the state and local sovereignty. Furthermore, an official delegation from the state of Arizona comprised of Arizona senators and members of the Arizona House of Representatives will be traveling to stand with legislatures from their own western states, 
citizens of various states, oath keepers, and constitutional sheriffs and peace officers association at the Bunker Hill Ranch in Clark County, Nevada. Are you still? Can you still hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, the president of the Arizona State Senate, the Honorable Andy Biggs, and the Speaker of Arizona House of Representatives, the Honorable Andy Tobin. Both have endorsed the Arizona delegation of legislatures and their journey to the Bundy Ranch to stand in support of all those who choose to protect individual and property, personal property rights, and the inalienable rights granted to we the people by our forefathers, authors of the Constitution of the United States of America, as well as state sovereignty granted by the Tenth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. The Arizona Delegation of Legislatures further recognizes the constitutional authority and the rights of the sheriff in preserving the sovereignty of his country, of his county, and the people under his jurisdiction, and stands with those sheriffs who stand with, who stand to enforce the Constitution against all assaults, including Political. It appears the federal government is so completely out of touch with the citizens to whom they are accountable to that federal agencies cannot fathom they have awakened a sleeping giant, we the people. From one caravan or Saturday morning, you may join the caravan with Arizona legislatures and Arizona contingency Militias across the country are sending units, possible flashpoint. Please cut and paste this letter, blah, blah, blah. This needs to go viral. That's about the end of it. Hear me up in Alaska. Can anybody hear me? Hello? Yeah, Down. I Yeah, I okay. got you, Taggart. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, my name is David. I'm a member of the Old Keepers organization up here in Alaska. Um, we've been we've been making a lot of contacts with our our representative Don Young in Washington. We're we're urging if anybody else in Alaska is, is listening right now, we're urging you guys to to vocalize in, in each individual state. Whether you're an oath keeper, you're an associate, or you're just a civilian in that state, definitely make contact with your representative's office. Let them know how you feel about this. It, it, it doesn't matter how many times you post about it on Facebook or how many times you tweet your reactions or your responses. Uh, ultimately, what matters is the contact that we make trying to use the avenues that we've been given um, by, by our rights as American citizens and using that un- up until they no longer care, um, And then in which case we have to start showing up in person and start making a visible stance against these things. Um, but, but like I said, the Oath Keepers organization up here, and, and, and we're working with some of the militias up here in Alaska right now, and we're, we're developing a program um, we're going to start everything that we use on Facebook. Facebook now has this really cool, uh, I guess you would call it uh, an app sort of, where if you make a hashtag, it shows up in Twitter and in Facebook. So we're starting a campaign as of today. We're using the hashtag Oath Before Order, um, and it's Oath Before Order. Um, so it, you have a picture or, or you retweet or you share a news feed or you share a status or you, you tweet a picture on the Declaration of Independence, use the hashtag Oath Before Order, and then we'll see hundreds of thousands of people over the next two days hashtag all their images, their pictures, their status updates with the hashtag Oath Before Orders um, and, and start rallying together. Get, in, get into places in your cities where it's, it's, it's okay for you to assemble in public. Um, at, at, obviously, you don't want to do it in the middle of an intersection, but, I mean, let's, let's use common sense here, like a grocery store parking lot or a park. Get together and draw it on signs, oath before orders, and make signs that say, we stand with Bundy. Um, you know, show your community that you know what's going on. Our, the sheep, the, the, the wool is not pulled over our eyes. We do know what's going on, and we, we're not okay with it. Um, and then, and then once, once our congressmen and our representatives start seeing all the people standing up, because the news cameras, they're going to draw a line between point A and point B, and they're going to they're correlate what we're standing up for 17 states away with what they're doing. 
and they're going to they're going to start it's going to start getting publicity and it's going to start catching fire this this in Nevada right now could very well be the spark that lights off the powder keg and we all need to make sure that everybody in each individual state knows that we have a responsibility to to address this thing appropriately now we we have we have sort of the same tactic in in the Marine Corps it basically boils down to this stop them down the street before they ever get to your front door Okay, take the fight to them in the middle of the street before they assault you at your front door, right? So just just be mindful. Um, I don't know if anybody can still hear me or not. I don't know if they've blocked my cell phone or what, but, uh, you know, we use, guys, use the avenues that you've been given and make your voice heard in public, in group. They can't touch you. If you if you sit here and you mock them on Facebook and you just kind of you know bitch and moan over a social network or whatever the case may be, they can shut you down. They can delete that. They can get rid of those comments. And people are seeing it every day. You use the hashtag I stand with Bundy. Your comments probably getting deleted within the next two or three hours. And there's there's been reports already just within the Oath Keepers network that they are seeing their posts deleted before their very eyes. But what they can't take away is you actually standing on a street corner saying it. They can't stop that. And if they do, they're wrong, and, and, and we obviously need to do something different. But uh, that's my two cents from up here in Alaska. Thanks for my time. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Is there any uh, Missouri militia around this area as well? <clears throat> I don't. Uh, I, I think there's probably a lot of people that are muted. I called into this line probably six or seven times, and it said that there was a couple of hundred people listening to the phone call. Um, but everybody, it seemed like every time I called in, it muted me automatically. Well, so, if, you, if you if you want to say something and you want to unmute yourself, it's up to you. You have to press uh, star six. I had to recall back in because I was muted out. I couldn't unmute for some reason. I don't know. I just I'm having the same problem. Uh, Dan Von Gina would have him join the conversation here. Yeah, I keep getting muted out. I don't know. I'm having the same problem. Uh, it says that the administrator is still muting people, so you can't unmute yourself if the administrator mutes you. Is that is why? I'm I'm getting text messages from different people in in Alaska that we're tied into and and they're hearing what I'm saying. So uh, just if you can hear us, if if you can hear that, just remember the hashtag that we're we're falling to is oath before orders, um, and it's going to take them a couple at least a couple of days to catch on to that one. Why would the administrators be muting us? <laughs> because there's a hundred. But if we uh, oh, too much. No, no. I think the uh, whoever hosts the web conference, it kind of mutes people if they don't talk for so long to kind of cut the, uh, the chatter. I've been listening for a while, and uh, I know there was a point where I think it just muted everyone, and then if you wanted to unmute, you just got to hit star six. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Can you anybody hear me out there? This is Drew Walker. This is Bob Patriots out of Pennsylvania. Go to the easiest way to get a message across this call from Clark County Sheriff's Office. But it just not, that's how fast it's traveling. As many people as can call the sheriff's department out there. Clark County Sheriff's Yes, call the sheriff's. Got it. All right. So and keep it up, please. Where was Everybody this information post- coming from? Who was this? Okay, as you're watching Sean Hannity, you know, here he comes. He says, this is bigger than, bigger than the cows. This, right. this is our liberty and our freedom is riskier. All right, if you're, if you're not saying if you're not saying anything and you have noise in the background, please mute yourself until you're ready to speak. Nothing else. Mute your telephone. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Hannity right now, uh, he's got the, uh, the buttons on. 
talking live with them, and they're showing the. Uh, uh, grab the Okay, my understanding is this land that was seized is basically for a rare turtle or something like that. So the government came in there and did this, and then uh, put him off the property, and they're going to charge him. Charge him. He's a badly. He's been the court. The court has been going through all liberal courts. No, you're not going to get much. They're person. listening. Uh, this guy here, if anything, has more right. <laughs> right now, because his family's been grazing on his property since eight, eight, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's Brian in, in Tennessee. Brian Reynolds. Um, one or two quick things to say, real quick. The feds will use the tactic of sending in guys to uh, they have infiltrate the and they have actually blend in. Facebook pulled that number off. Uh, so I'm yes, they are sending in. in. They are in. Creating uh, peaceful protesters as we, we speak. We have more than one people. One. We have one more than one person talking. Uh, on their we list have more than one person talking. Okay. Please talk one at a time. You're, you're fine, brother. I just I thought you might find this pretty uh pretty like wow. Go ahead. All right, man. I'll talk to you a little bit. Can we? Is there any way we can get the gentleman from uh, the right. Tennessee? Um, I, I believe it was. Can we get the gentleman from Tennessee talking about the uh, the, the feds uh, possibly using people uh, moles more more to more or less? Yeah, that's me. Um, they're actually gonna they're planning to use the tactic to go in, infiltrate, actually uh, stand in with the protesters and everything, and at some point in time actually provoke an armed response. Uh, Can you guys hear this? That's something that you guys, you guys uh, yeah, heard around there need to yeah. be mindful of. Well, to, to kind of, to kind of uh, credit your, your statement there, this, again, this is Dave up in Alaska. Um, I don't know if anybody caught wind of it, but in the first two days when the whole Ukraine situation was going off, um, the, 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 the Russians uh, actually detained two, CI, two plainclothed CIA agents um, in Kiev. Uh, so the the fact that that uh, the feds uh, you can get the Fox let's news, let's right? find out if we're live here. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes. Okay. Like, can yeah, you hear? My my okay. my name my name is Chuck Smith. I'm doing Ranch a live out there in Nevada. Uh, you've been grazing on this property. Can you hear me? Yeah. What I'm trying to do is break in here for just a moment to get some and clarity the, on what's missing uh, on our river cases out there. Protect some turtles. Uh, we're going to need Smith, people go to ahead speak and take one. Mr. Smith. Grazing and they want to slap it one point, over one point one point something million dollars. Grazing fee. And why are we? Uh, for the trespass fees. I'm just saying. I'm Tiki Barber. Is went beyond that. Okay, this is Garrett Adams. Very.